Industrial Light and Magic ILM is an American motion picture visual effects company that was founded in May 1975 by George Lucas. It is a division of the film production company, Lucasfilm, which Lucas founded, and was created when Lucas began production of the film Star Wars. It is also the original founder company of the animation studio Pixar Animation Studios. ILM originated in Van Nuys, California, then later moved to San Rafael in 1978, and since 2005 it has been based at the Letterman Digital Arts Center in the Presidio of San Francisco. In 2012, the Walt Disney Company acquired ILM as part of its purchase of Lucasfilm. Topic History Lucas wanted his 1977 film Star Wars to include visual effects that had never been seen on film before. After discovering that the in-house effects department at 20th Century Fox was no longer operational, Lucas approached Douglas Trumbull, best known for the effects on 2001, A Space Odyssey 1968, and Silent Running 1972. Trumbull declined as he was already committed to working on Steven Spielberg's film Close Encounters of the Third Kind 1977, but suggested his assistant John Dykstra to Lucas. Dykstra brought together a small team of college students, artists, and engineers, and set them up in a warehouse in Van Nuys, California. Lucas named the group Industrial Light and Magic, which became the Special Visual Effects Department on Star Wars. Alongside Dykstra, other leading members of the original ILM team were Ken Ralston, Richard Edland, Dennis Muren, Joe Johnston, Phil Tippett, Steve Gowley, Lorne Peterson, and Paul Houston. In late 1978, when in pre-production for The Empire Strikes Back, Lucas reformed most of the team into Industrial Light and Magic in Marin County, California. From here on, the company expanded and has since gone on to produce special effects for nearly 300 films, including the entire Star Wars saga, the Indiana Jones series, the Harry Potter series, the Jurassic Park series, the Back to the Future trilogy, many of the Star Trek films, Ghostbusters 2, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the Pirates of the Caribbean series, the Terminator sequels, the Transformers films, the Men in Black series, Marvel Cinematic Universe films, Wild Wild West, Most of the Mission, Impossible Films, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Batteries Not Included, The Abyss, and Flubber, and also provided work for Avatar, alongside Weta Digital. In addition to their work for George Lucas, ILM also collaborates with Steven Spielberg on many films that he directs and produces. Dennis Muren has acted as computer animation supervisor on many of these films. Apart from flashy special effects, the company also works on more subtle effects, such as widening streets, digitally adding more extras to a shot, and inserting the film's actors into pre-existing footage, in films including Schindler's List, Forrest Gump, Snow Falling on Cedars, Magnolia, and several films directed by Woody Allen. After the success of the first Star Wars movie, Lucas became interested in using computer graphics on the sequel. So he contacted Triple I, known for their early computer effects in movies like Westworld 1973 and Futureworld 1976, which ended up making a computer-generated test of five X-wing fighters flying in formation. He found it to be too expensive and returned to handmade models. But the test had showed him it was possible, and he decided he would create his own computer graphics department instead. One of Lucas's employees was given the task to find the right people to hire. His search would lead him to NYIT, where he found Edwin Catmull and his colleagues. Catmull and others accepted Lucas's job offer, and a new computer division at ILM was created in 1979 with the hiring of Ed Catmull as the first NYIT employee who joined Lucasfilm. John Lasseter, who was hired a few years later, worked on computer animation as part of ILM's contribution to young Sherlock Holmes. 
The graphics group was later sold to Steve Jobs, named Pixar Animation Studios, and created the first CG animated feature, Toy Story. In 2000, ILM created the OpenXR format for high dynamic range imaging. ILM operated from an inconspicuous property in San Rafael, California until 2005. The company was known to locals as the Kerner Company. The name, Kerner Optical, did not raise any eyebrows and kept the media away from the facility, which was always trying to get a peek at the projects going on at ILM. ILM was a big name and projects which required utmost secrecy operated out of the Kerner Opticals facility. In 2005, when Lucas decided to move locations to the Presidio of San Francisco and focus on digital effects, a management-led team bought the five physical and practical effects divisions and formed a new company that included the George Lucas Theater, retained the Kerner. Name is Kerner Technologies, Inc. and provided physical effects for major motion pictures, often working with ILM, until its Chapter 7 bankruptcy in 2011. In 2005, ILM extended its operations to Lucasfilm Singapore, which also includes the Singapore arm of Lucasfilm Animation. In 2011, it was announced the company was considering a project based facility in Vancouver. Vancouver's first location opened in 2013 and ILM opened a second location in Vancouver in 2017. In 2006, ILM invented IMOCAP, image-based motion capture technology. In 2012, Disney bought ILM's parent company, Lucasfilm, and acquired ILM in the process. Disney stated that it had no immediate plans to change ILM's operations, but began to lay off employees by April of the next year. Following the restructuring of LucasArts in April 2013, ILM was left overstaffed and the faculty was reduced to serve only ILM's visual effects department. ILM opened a London studio headquartered in the city's Soho district on October 15, 2014. As of 2016, ILM has received 16 Best Visual Effects Oscars and 40 additional nominations. It has also received 24 scientific and technical awards from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. On November 7, 2018, ILM opened a new division targeted at television series called ILM TV. It will be based in ILM's new 47,000 square foot London studio with support from the company's locations in San Francisco, Vancouver, and Singapore. ILM is currently the largest visual effects vendor in the motion picture industry, with regards to workforce, with more than 500 artists. It has one of the largest render farms currently available with more than 7,500 nodes. Topic. Milestones 1975, resurrected the use of VistaVision, first use of a motion control camera Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. 1980, first use of Go Motion to animate the Tauntaun creatures of the Empire Strikes Back. 1982, first in-house completely computer-generated sequence. The Genesis Sequence. In Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Previous computer graphics in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope were done outside of ILM. 1985, first completely computer-generated character, the Stained Glass Man, in Young Sherlock Holmes. 1988, first morphing sequence, in Willow. 1989, first digital compositing of a full-screen live-action image during the final sequence in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. 1989, first computer-generated 3D character to show emotion, the pseudopod creature in the abyss. 1991, first ever dimensional matte painting where a traditional matte painting was mapped onto 3D geometry, allowing for camera parallax, in Hook. 
1991, first partially computer-generated main character, the T-1000 in Terminator 2, Judgment Day. 1992, first time the texture of human skin was computer-generated, in Death Becomes Her. 1993, first time digital technology used to create a complete and detailed living creature, the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, which earned ILM its 13th Oscar. 1994, first extensive use of digital manipulation of historical and stock footage to integrate characters in Forrest Gump. 1995, first fully synthetic speaking computer-generated character, with a distinct personality and emotion, to take a leading role in Casper. 1995, first computer-generated photo-realistic hair and fur, used for the digital lion and monkeys, in Jumanji. 1996, first completely computer-generated main character, Draco in Dragonheart. 1999, first computer-generated character to have a full human anatomy, Emotep in The Mummy. 2000, creates OpenXR imaging format. 2006, develops IMOCAP system, which uses computer vision techniques to track live action performers on set. Used in the creation of Davy Jones and ship's crew in the film Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. 2011, first animated feature produced by ILM, Rango. Topic. Filmography Topic. Television Topic. Commercials Canada Dry 1996 Honeycomb 2003 Gatorade 2000 Reese's 2002 Topic Notable employees and clients Photoshop was first used at the Industrial Light and Magic as an image processing program Photoshop was created by ILM Visual Effects Supervisor John Knoll and his brother Thomas as a summer project. It was used on the Abyss. The Knoll brothers sold the program to Adobe shortly before the film's release. Thomas Knoll continues to work on Photoshop at Adobe and is featured in the billing on the Photoshop splash screen. John Knoll continues to be ILM's top visual effects supervisor. Adam Savage, Grant E. Mahara and Tori Bellacy of Mythbusters fame have all worked at Industrial Light and Magic. Industrial Light and Magic is also famous for their commercial work. Their clients include Energizer, Benson & Hedges, Apple, Nike, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Budweiser, McDonald's, Nickelodeon and other companies. Actor Masioka worked on several major ILM productions as a programmer, including Revenge of the Sith, before joining the cast of the NBC show Heroes as Hiro Nakamura. American film director David Fincher worked at ILM for four years in the early 1980s. Film director Joe Johnston was a visual effects artist and an art director. Film director Mark A. Z. Dippe was a visual effects animator who directed Spawn which was released in 1997. Topic see also Moving Picture Company MPC Digital Domain DNEG Framestore Sony Pictures Imageworks Rhythm and Hughes Weta Digital Pixar Animation Studios Softimage 4D Creative Environment CSRG UC Berkeley Alias Research Sinetron Computer Systems